Hello everyone and welcome to Fallen Sandwich Gaming. We are uh, currently playing our Let's Play of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. And uh, we're starting to get pretty comfortable in the Highlander. Um, we're currently in the mission of a... We're currently in the middle of a transmission series of missions called Hazing the Week for House Liao. So we're continuing on with part three of Hazing the Week. We intercepted some of the Blasphemer's followers as they fled your last attack. After some persuasion, they were kind enough to provide us with some information. So the heretic goes by the name of Adidi Widbay. Before you even made it back to your ship, the loyal followers of the true leader were able to get everything we need on this disobedient scum. It seems she believes herself to be still in service of the true leader. The mind of Kali found much on her new ideology. It seems she was desperate to find new followers to our cause, was spouting a false interpretation of our beliefs to anyone misguided enough to listen. Somehow this pretender became mad. Became mad. She thinks the true leader spoke to her privately and told her to single-handedly speed up the process of achieving some of our goals, while also bringing in new followers all on her own. This filth, this filth. It gets even more preposterous from there. In her raving, she mentions repeatedly a fear of a human-like dog she calls the Big Dog. She has an irrational fear of being covered in dog food. What? Clearly, Widbay never spoke with our true leader privately, but her insane ramblings and actions continue to be the biggest threat of destroying the Church of Kali, along with everything we worked so long to achieve. Luckily for your well-being, the arms of Kali once again tracked her down for you. She didn't travel far this time and has been located in the nearby system of Grand Base. Kill this madwoman, Commander, before we decide to take out our frustration and kill you instead. Wow. You know, Liao really makes you feel right at home. Let's jump out to Kazdak and, uh... Do some quick repairs, and then get right down to business on hopefully finishing this up. So yeah, I mean, last mission was pretty rough on the Highlander. We uh, took some serious damage, but you know the important thing is that uh, we are getting used to the Highlander. We should probably pick up some more AC-20s. <laughs> Just, uh... Because we tend to lose them a fair bit. So. This is the Highlander. Let's repair all. So somehow we still have... Tier 4 AC-20s. Um... Though this looks like it might be our last one. So we gotta be careful with it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's cue that up. Now the Jaeger mech actually came out fine. Actually, I think I think the rest of our mechs came out fine. Um, so you know, again, like it it all could be just like symptomatic of bad play. Actually, one thing I do want to see on the awesome is. Yeah, this thing's got three stacks of LRM ammo. It should be, well, two and a half, but it shouldn't be running out like we are. Now, we do have this catapult, which could take the Jaeger mech spot, so maybe I'll just take a quick look at it. Um, so let's repair all, and then ditch the jump jets as you do. Let's move the heat sinks up. Move the LRM ammo down, which actually, it's going to need probably two more stacks of LRM ammo. Uh, as far as the laser slots go, mediums probably are fine. And then, let's do that, but then obviously make some adjustments. Um... Let's see here. Definitely don't need that much on the head. Is that pretty much where we want to be? Could change one of these to a half. And then... Go 48, 48. Um, I 
That's probably fine. That's probably fine. Yeah, let's just do that. This way, at least, the catapult might be usable. Um, and then we'll head on over. So this is an assassination mission, so probably not the kind of thing we're going to involve the catapult in. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I didn't paint the catapult. I didn't paint it. Uh, and I forgot to check the cantina. But, you know, this is normal stuff for me. <laughs> um, yeah, look how look how hideous that is. Gotta, gotta put it in our uh, color scheme. Alright. So now, now it's beautiful. Look at it. So cute. Okay. Um, Alright, so here we go. So 75 difficulty. It's 315 tons, again. So, same idea. We're going full salvage. And we can actually uh, we can actually get some money on this one. So, um, I do think we keep the Jaeger in. I don't... Mm, so actually, Caruso would be a better catapult pilot, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would be. He definitely would be. Um, so do we try out the catapult on this? I guess so. I guess so. What could hurt, you know? So, let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, it's an assassination mission. So, judging by the, uh, by the difficulty, it's obviously going to be a tough one. So... And also, the, the reason we're prioritizing doing this transmission as soon as possible is, uh... Okay, so as I was saying, the reason we're prioritizing doing this mission is because a tip from one of our subscribers, Ryan, um, let me know that this is the mission where you can acquire the hero Orion, um, which I've never used before. So uh, hopefully we're able to kind of complete it and get a good look at that machine and that is the major goal of prioritizing doing this as soon as we have. So, hopefully we have some luck here. Okay, we just headshot a Kentaro. And that's a champion. That is the extended range PPC on that champion. Okay. That was uh, that was a pretty solid champion there. Okay, so that's another Highlander. Uh, we got to be careful, cause that has Gauss. Oh man, we got to be really careful with this one. I don't necessarily want to get close to it, but... Okay, it's down. So... Well, 
Wait. <laughs> this isn't the final part? Whoa. Oh man. Ah. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, Black Knight's down. Of course, it's the Phoenix Hawk that has the... Probably EMS, I think, is what does this, generally. I did just get shot by my own mech. Alright. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Uh, this was a fun one, actually. A lot of, like, interesting, threatening mechs. Woo! It was a fun one. The Black Knight is in bad shape, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, I mean... We had a Kentaro and a Champion, and then, like, a more advanced version of the Highlander. So, that was crazy. Alright. Woo! That was a fun one. That was a fun one. I like stuff like that. You know, a little sweaty. Make you a little nervous. Yeah, I mean, with all the threats that uh, Liao's been throwing around, not finding our target here is definitely uh, bad. <laughs> uh, but honestly, I love missions like that. That was that was great. Yeah, so we can't get the 732B. I mean, uh, that would have been so cool. This is another Kintaro 19. Uh, we did just retire the Kentaro, and of course another Black Knight. Um, wow, that would be... We can get some cool stuff here, though. I mean... So, take those. Uh, get some more narc ammo. Uh, it's a good tier machine gun. I guess we'll take the Gauss ammo, even though we can't salvage the Gauss rifle. Sucks. Uh, we can get another Narc. We get a decent LRM-10. Um, and then I guess we just get another good medium laser. So, pr still pretty solid salvage, and not a huge repair bill. The Catapult lost one of its LRM-15s. but Okay, and we completed this, which is good. So, uh, we're going to have to face the music on this transmission. Let's see. I'll keep this brief. You're quite lucky you followed Aditi Widbay's escape out of that system so closely. Another failure in the hand of Kali would, have be, would be forced to immediately fire upon your ship, but since you have the heretic in your sights, the hand showed compassion. You and your crew have one final chance to meet our request. Widby is headed towards the Klaxon system. One way or another, one of you won't leave that system alive. So warning, hazardous terrain and high ambient heat detect in a mission operational zone. Jump capabilities and heat efficient loadouts are advised. Oh, uh, we don't have that. <laughs> um, which is concerning. We don't have either of those things. We don't have heat efficient loadouts. And we don't have jump capabilities. Um, it's like, I, I'm not completely refitting this lance to have those things. Like, oh, that's, 
that's not uh, that's not good. So, luckily, took very little damage on the Highlander. The catapult is fine. The Black Knight uh, didn't actually lose anything, which is good. And of course, the awesome the chunker just took some armor damage. So. Alright, so we don't have, like, actually before I leave this section again, let's check the cantina. The Duchy of Endurian and the Sheehan Commonality. Let's take a look here. This is the Sheehan Commonality. So, let's take that one. Well, let's just see. Is it going to be here? It is here. Okay, so maybe that just, like, uh auto it to where we gotta go. And I guess we'll take the one Wolverine job in case that pops up. So, here we go. We're on our way to Claxton. Just hemorrhaging money <laughs> doing this uh, transmission. Also, let's hope, uh, let's hope this goes well. Because I am very concerned so it's another 75, so it's the same, same idea. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, we are going to drop that Cantina mission. Um, where is it? There's a way to drop. Um... We'll figure it out after this, but we're not we're not gonna do a, a 14 difficulty mission at this point. So let's just take a look real quick. You have a Dee Dee Wibbly in your sights and are about to land at nearly her exact location. End this now and kill her. If you don't, you and your whole crew will be slaughtered without mercy. Wow, these guys are rude, man. Okay, so we just max out salvage. That's the way to go here. Oh boy. So we're actually 30 under tonnage for this. I don't... I definitely don't have a way I can make that up. Um... I think the Jaeger's probably better... Well, this guy's a better catapult. But okay, let's bring the catapult. The Black Knight is going to struggle. Uh, we should be fine as long as we don't use the lasers too much. Aye. I mean, this is the lance we have, so this is the one we're going to have to make work. Alright. We're dropping in. Wish me luck, everybody. Uh, I'm going to need your thoughts and prayers on this one. <laughs> Look how tiny the catapult looks. So cute. It's so cute. Um, yeah. Not going to lie. A little nervous about this one. A little nervous. This is part four. Okay. It's it's a lava planet. Oh, the catapult. The catapult was a bad pick. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. This, like, volcano planet. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, I don't have jump jets, so we're gonna have to go around, I guess? Is that a thing? Maybe I should have, uh, listened to the prompt and threw jump jets on, because looks like we're gonna be walking through... Oh, we can go around. I was gonna say, it looks like we're gonna be walking through lava, which cannot be good for my machines, but we can go around, luckily. I'm glad they don't, like, make it so you have to have jump jets, because that would suck if, like, you had to change the way your mechs are loaded out. 
Um, all right. I'm just hoping to get where we're going without taking any damage. That's like my my number one priority. So I don't see anything yet. Oh. Oh, get out of the way. Yeah, okay. Um... I was hoping they'd reward us with a little bit of salvage in here, but looks like that's a no-go. Alright, so... I mean, luckily, like, it's a Phoenix Hawk, you know, like, uh... It's not really a concern. Like, same thing here, it's a spider. So, not gonna go crazy trying to take that down. The catapult did take a little bit of damage there, but he very narrowly avoided getting death from above, so... Do I have to go that way? I'm thinking still up this way. Okay, a dervish. At least we can keep his LRMs out of the fight. Okay, that's down. I gotta be careful about how much AC ammo I use here. That's that Union dropship they were talking about. That thing's cool. Okay, Hunchback. Alright, we took his AC-20 off, so that's good. Um, all right, nice, nice. So it's it's going pretty well so far. I mean, if they keep coming at us like one or two at a time, um, we should be fine. I would rather be in front. I would rather not have um, the Black Knight in front. Okay, it's a Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, LRMs are totally useless here. Okay, get away from it. <laughs> I, I wonder if our allies take damage from Mexico and Critical, because it almost looks like they don't. <laughs> wow. That Irby just got wrecked. Oh, okay, I can't go this way? No, I can't. I have to go the long way. None of us can go this way. Jump jets, you know. This is a cool mission. This is fun. Um, like the tight quarters, it's it's very interesting. I do wish the Black Knight was not in front. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but, you know, it's his decision to make, I suppose. Ooh, a crab. I gotta try to stop. I gotta try to stop using this AC-20 ammo. Um, I'm definitely well. I still got 40 rounds. I guess that's that's pretty good. 
but I definitely don't want to risk running out of ammo before we get to the main objective. This volcano world is just like... It feels like I'm fighting on like Mustafar, like we're out here looking for Vader. <laughs> if Vader was a crazy lady afraid of dog food, you know? Okay. Um Am I going the right way? It doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm supposed to be going down and around that way. Uh, can you guys please figure out pathing? That would be great. Come on. I think those two are stuck. Yeah, they definitely are. Come on, figure it out. Hopefully they can come around the other way or something. Is there a cut through here so that they can figure it out? I don't want to move on without a mech. Come on. Turn around. And join the squad. Hey bud. This way. This way please. Thank you. <laughs> all right we've we gathered everybody up again they're all getting turned around in these uh valleys no he's still lost he's bugged out or something hopefully he figures it out um i can't do it for him though so we might end up going in without the black knight but he's fast enough to catch up if his uh pathing gets solved okay quick draw You don't say. It would be nice if I could just like LRM them down. Alright. That's fine. Okay, it does look like the Black Knight figured out uh, his issue. Oh, this is... This feels like a shooting gallery, you know? Like, we're definitely going to end up getting a hit from the sides going through here. Yep. There's the turret. Okay, got to keep... Uh, It looks like looks like we're going this way. I mean, yeah, this is definitely the direction we're supposed to be heading. Little lava splash. All right, it doesn't look like we took any damage from going through the lava. I can never remember if we can. It just looks like it raises our heat like passively um, a lot <laughs> which is its own problem but that's fine oh boy yeah if you're that helicopter pilot uh, it's probably when you'd wish you had your brown pants on Right. We're just making our way through the lava fields. Whoa. 
rude. Yeah, I definitely see how uh, having jump jets would have made this just a tiny bit faster. Seemingly always have somebody falling behind here. So, definitely the uh, difficult terrain kind of messing up our formation abilities. That's another Union dropship there. Okay, that's taken care of. Yeah, look, there's a second Union dropship embedded in the rock. Oh wow, we still got a ways to go. I thought I thought we were almost there. Um, it's still broadcasting out transponder calls and what appears to be some form of message, but they're both very faint and showing high amounts of signal degradation. Hmm. I'll begin to run an analysis on Interesting. Hopefully, it will provide us with some answers. Would really like if my one mech that's fallen behind would catch up. Because I definitely don't want the catapult out front. That's a bad time all the way around. Oh, then again, I mean, I guess it's fine if he sets up a fire station and, like, lets us pass him. You know? Alright. I feel like almost every area we pass through on the way here would be, like, so cool for, like, a shootout, you know? Um, like, these areas actually feel kind of empty. I think if you had jump jets, this place would probably be salvage galore. Um, you know? Like, you'd probably be spoiled for choice on salvage. Because there's a lot of, like, little buildings and stuff all over the place that I can't reach. Because I didn't bring jump jets. So maybe something to keep in mind for the future. Maybe I should set up like a jump jet lance when we do funky stuff like this. It'll it'll come in handy. I'm gonna say like, come on. All right. It looks like this is where our conflict is going to happen. Wow. You go. Fly free bird. Right? Alright, what do we got? This definitely seems like a stalker. Whoa. Come on. Okay. We're getting them down. Alright. <laughs> we got the stalker to eject, luckily. Okay. So, the encounter with the Stalker didn't go too badly, which is good. Though, we're definitely feeling the chip damage a little bit. And we still have a little ways to go. I thought this was definitely going to be like the final battle spot, but not yet. Wow, that Stalker, I mean... We got an eject from the Stalker, so we just completely dismantled its weapon systems. Like, if it's not like one or the other where like you have to choose the Orion or the Stalker, that's going to be really tempting salvage-wise. If I can even get it salvage I don't know. Um, man, that thing had some crazy weapons on it though. I want to say we got lucky. Oh. 
Come on. Let's fire a little faster, please. Nothing like some light tanks to get in the way. We do have some some decent armor damage now. They've just kind of worn us down on the way in. Man, I wonder how much faster <laughs> we would have got up here if uh, if we had actually followed the game advice. Our guys are kind of getting stuck behind us, and I don't want to go one on one with whatever uh, our target's going to be piloting, whether or not that's the hero Orion or something else. So hopefully they can line it up. <laughs> it really is like the top of the mountain. This is so cool. This is epic. Oh, it's three on four. Ooh, somebody's a little upset, you know? Please tell me those guys are not... Oh, there she is. Whoa! Is that a Cyclops? Okay, the fire starter's gotta go down. Uh, sorry, the Phoenix Hawk. Shoot! 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 Oh, okay, he's down. Oh no. Okay, just just this left. Just this left. Get it down, get it down. Oh, I'm too badly damaged. Come on. Oh man. I need to back up. I need to back up. Where are my other mechs? Come on. Okay, we got her. Woo! Yeah, uh... <laughs> that was rough. We just got trapped in this alleyway and it was literally a, a straight boxing match, one on three. Or two on three, if, if you count the awesome, which was parked behind us. Wow! Not the way I expected that to go. So... We don't have any of the better mechs on offer. Okay. We're not gonna take the crab. We're gonna take both these Guardian ECMs. Um, let's get a bunch of AC2s. Let's get like four of them. It doesn't actually look like we got... Oh, a double heat sink. Definitely want that. Um, small lasers. Where's the salvage, man? This is... It's kind of crap, honestly. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, pretty disappointing. So... Yep, we lost money on this one for sure. But we did get the Orion. Okay, we did get the Orion. So, 
It is finally done. The mad heretic and all the weak-minded followers she told lies to are dead. All thanks to you. The church does not wish to see Windery's delusional crusade martyr her or her forsaken cause. As such, as a token of our true leader's gratitude and generosity, you are free to take the heretic's mech with you. But listen carefully, Commander. Despite our sincere gratitude for your handling of our sensitive issue, you and your staff are the only souls who knows of us without being brought into the fold. If you dare speak our name or allude to any church secrets you may or may not have encountered while under our employ in any quarter of the galaxy before our grand reveal, the Church of Cali will find you and prop up your corpse right beside Windbase. For we have pledged our loyalty to the one true avatar of Kali, and her return is near. Our leader has seen her in her mind's eye, has seen the white tiger, has seen the rock Shasa, and has seen that once united the galaxy will burn, cleaning all, cleansing all of the non-believers. When that day comes, I pray that you will stand with us again, Commander. We will be sure to make your loyalty worth your while. Well, with mechs like this hanging around, uh, I would say it's definitely worth our while. So this is 75. Uh, yeah, so for sure now... Um, we retire one of these. Um, maybe even the Treb, honestly. Uh, let's retire one of the doubles. I don't think we need the two Kintaras anymore. So, uh, we, here it is, the Orion YAJ. I don't, I'm not sure what that stands for, actually. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if we just, well... <laughs> We're short a couple of double of heat sinks, but you know, um, stick those both there, and then go <laughs> for two regular ones. I guess. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's a, it's a little sad, but yeah. I mean, we'll just do this. Well, well, well we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the Hero Orion, and that is the quest line finished. So if you guys liked what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Had a lot of fun with this one, um, even if that last battle did end up being a little anticlimactic. The whole mission in general was a ton of fun. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me, and uh, have a great day.